Good day, good day, ladies and gentlemen. Good day, welcome to Trendlands Trader. My name is Offense. Allow me to take this moment and welcome you all, ladies and gentlemen. This is the YouTube channel where we do live, sometimes we do daily analysis. So, what I want to say to you guys for today we are live and NASDAQ, we are doing NASDAQ 100 i hope you guys are able to see the nasdaq 100 remember that we are trying by all means to be uh, constant with this um, live trading thing we are not trying it out we are try we try to be constant like to make sure that we push daily daily live trades so at the moment we can see that our price is pushing our price is pushing ladies and gentlemen earlier i did a daily analysis video i hope you guys do watch those videos and there was a prediction i made there's a prediction i made on the video that if the price respects this level we will see the price pushing towards the downside if it doesn't respect the level if it breaks we will end up having this type of movement so at the moment we are very much aware of our price is pushing towards the downside but still we have a level here you see the yellow horizontal line here it clearly says we should be aware of of that level so what i can advise you if you are on the trade we are just uh is it 48 minutes away from the opening session so this could be our fake this could be a fake you know those market movers you know those market movers man they are so unpredictable they can take the price within a minute especially just after 45 minutes actually 15 minutes of the opening session they can just take the price straight upwards while you are saying no i'm thinking this is a a sailing uh, today is the sailing day no don't just believe what you see at the moment because it could trick you it's a uh, it's your uh, what you call they could trick you it's a fake i'm thinking it's a fake because later on we could see the price pushing right towards upside because this level because of this level right here this level this area right here so ladies and gentlemen i hope that you did watch the video and i hope you might let's go to the lower time frame let's check the 15 minutes time frame to see what is happening because you will find the price showing you this you can see there was no any fake here this could be our fake but it's too big to be a fake eh? and you can see there was a retest all right we just have to wait and see remember we are not the market movers we are just the what do you call the traders we trade what the market is giving to us. Okay, it's pushing. Just have to wait and see if it will reach this area. There's another level that I hope you guys notice. The price broke this area right here. Did you guys see it? Did you guys place your, your trades, your entry? In 15 minute time frame this could be our left shoulder our head our right shoulder and our neckline oh it's a M you know there are so many patterns in this trading method or oh, it could be like something like this <laughs> I hope you guys see what I'm doing there. There are a lot of chart patterns out there. 
so let's just have to wait if the price reach this level because we can see it re it already gave us the retest and we are just seven minutes away from 4 p.m south african time and 10 a.m the u.s time just a second today is happening ladies and gentlemen today is happening when i'm saying the price is volatile this is what i mean remember monday it took us yesterday it took us for a while to see such a big uh candlestick so today you can see that it's happening we are happy it's tuesday that's the during tuesdays you will see the price making such moves man this makes me smile push on us there push push on us there this makes me feel like ah. yes there we go there we go i hope your buy stoppers are triggered i believe your buy stoppers are triggered because remember when i did the video earlier i did uh, predict the price will push towards the downside or the upside but if you can see now it's pushing towards the downside you have to place your buy stoppers you have to place your selling stoppers your sell stoppers yes push 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 this is your this is your your take profit level do you want to see it <laughs> it's happening actually this is what i did around this level i placed my stop order around here yes this is exactly what i did so when the price hits this level i'm telling you i'm telling you i'll be shouting like a baby 1326.3 is it 13266 yes it's about to reach it let's remove this man <laughs> so that i could see that take profit push a nasdaq push a push a nasdaq this is what i'm talking about when we're saying we're having a volatile day very volatile very volatile this is what i'm talking about when we are having a volatile day exactly what i mentioned push on us deck let's do it let's go let's go let's go let's go let's go let's go it's happening tonight happening tonight ladies and gentlemen i hope you like what you see it will reach this is something that i like to see bra yeah just a second nasdaq is making my day woo 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 nasdaq is making my day So please do comment there. I'm waiting for your comments. I'm waiting for your comments. I'm waiting for your comments, ladies and gentlemen. Nasdaq, 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 Pusha, 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 Pusha. Just a second. You know, I'm doing live and i'm producing this live stream i'm a producer and an anchor of this live stream at the same time we need to have anchors we need to have producers we need to have all these type of people to come and assist here 
Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I love what I see, man. I love what I see. Ooh, what I see. I love it. I love it. I love what I see. I hope you also love it. I hope you guys also love it. Sorry about that. I'm busy with these. There we go. There we go. Just a few peeps. There we go. Hit it. Ooh -wee. <laughs> there we go. Pum, 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 pum. Hit it. Let's close our trades. Time to close your trades, yo. It's time to close your trades. It's time to close your trades, ladies and gentlemen. Make sure that you close your trades. Make sure you close your trades. Secure your trades, man. Secure your trades. It's about the time, eh? <laughs> <laughs> this is what I love, bruh. This is what I love. Push. Let me close this ones. These ones, yes. Yes, it's happening tonight. That night, 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 night. That night when Nasdaq was pushing. That night when Nasdaq was pushing. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, let's see what is happening. Let's see how did we come up with this uh, type of... The way is that? Push a push a Nasdaq. Push a Nasdaq. Investing.com. Let's see. Bring it here, boy. Bring that in investing.com here so that we could see what is happening right here. Hope you guys. Ah, that chair. Do you see that? Do you see that? Uh, let's see. Economic calendar. My mind is on the prize at the moment. My mind is on the prize. Did you guys secure? I hope you did secure. I hope you guys did secure. The prize is giving us what we always asked for. I hope you guys did secure. This is lovely. This is lovely to see. This is lovely. A very lovely night. Very lovely afternoon. This thing is still pushing, bros. Ah, uh, let me see. Let me see something. This thing is still pushing. This thing. Okay. Okay. It's giving us. It's giving us um pullback. Maybe a reversal. Not a reversal. A rejection candle. Yes. But I don't see it pushing towards this level right here let's go to four hourly time frame and be able to see where is our price going hey why are you taking so long shouldn't be taking so long when we are having this much fun come on come on come on come on come on come on a very long big straight candle bra look at this the price is right here hmm?
I don't think it will reach that level. I don't see it reaching that level. Okay. It's pushing, it's pushing, man. It's pushing, it's pushing. This is what I love to see. I, it's going towards that level. There's no way you can say it's not going towards that level. You can see that it's going towards that level. Let's go to 30 minutes time frame and be able to see where. Ah, that level is broken. The price broke. It's pushing towards. It's pushing towards your diagonal resistance. You can see. Let's see if it will reach this level. What I wanted to do, I wanted to make sure that I'm fixing this. Yeah, this is what I wanted to place where I want the wink. Wanted to place this at the wink. Push. Ah. The price is about to reach. I hope you guys did secure. And if you have left with some other trades, that's also great. That's also great. Don't. Wow. That's a very. Let's check. Remember, I said I wanted to see what is happening here in the market. See. the news all news and negative okay half past two is positive cb consumer confidence all right i think this will make me let's do it like this let's check the price there Our price is pushing, bruh. Our price is pushing. You can see it's pushing. Like, wow. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you like what you see. I hope you like what you see. Let me do this. Just a second. Before the battery dies. Yeah. Yeah, man, I'm using the laptop, actually. I'm using the laptop and I'm expecting <sighs> things are happening today things are happening today this is what I've been waiting for this is exactly what I've been waiting for when you talk about the volatility when you talk about volatility this is what I mean this is volatile 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 It's happening and it's happening. Okay, in the 15 minute time frame, we will find uh, who I was thinking we'll see the rejection. I think maybe it's on. Actually, it's on five minute time frame. It's our retest today. It is our retest. Ah, uh, let me do this. I think I should. Next time, I should try by all means. So the the price is about to retest at that level since it broke. So we will just have to wait for the next uh, candlestick to open before we look for the next. Uh, uh, just a second. Yeah, I think I'll have to place. I think I'll have to place that screen right next to me next time because see eh? the price is doing what i have been asking for this is what i have been asking for for a for a while bruh 
yesterday i was asking the price to give me this volatility and today it's doing exactly that and today the price is doing exactly what i'm i've been waiting for that's a retest let's see if it will respect our setups because you know the price is also making its own what do you call yeah let me place this in this direction so that you can hear me loud and clear I can't wait brah can't wait okay that's our retest this is a five minute time frame just have to place those resistance levels there if the price you know in the beginning i thought that during the opening session i thought that uh that candlestick was a fake out then then when you check my cnbc on my phone here it was not a fake out actually That's not the fake out. Pusha. So ladies and gentlemen, let me place this right there. Focus on this. I think we found the support here. We found the support, but it's still early though to say this is this could be our support it's still early days remember on five minutes time frame the price can still come back we could still see a bearish candlestick remember it's just retrace and it might push towards the downside just have to wait and see so this is what is happening. This is what is happening. Woo, 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 woo. The price is giving me what I've been asking for, bro. The volatility. You see, it's still retesting. Actually, that seemed like we just have to wait for that candlestick to close. We are in 30 minutes time frame. The candlestick is left with 20 seconds to close. You can say 15 not seconds minutes actually my bad my bad my apology we just left with uh 18 minutes for it to close the candlestick might close just below that level just below this level right here and push towards the downside that could happen if this is gonna be our rejection candlestick we're gonna see the price pushing towards the upside but i'm happy i collected my my profit so i'm out just watching at the moment just watching to see where is the price going i'm just watching to see where the price going at the moment but i believe the price might push towards our demand area i hope that makes sense i believe our price might push towards our demand area my apology for being late today uh started the live stream a little bit late yes ladies and gentlemen uh there was uh, things going around you know when you are you and you are a live streamer a trader an anchor a producer at the same time when you are absent the show doesn't go on so when you are available yes you can try by all means to push the show on so it is company of mine it's that thing but anyway we'll talk about the company later if you have any thing that you will like 
to share with me personally ladies and gentlemen please don't for you can do that by contact me on trendlines trader at gmail.com or you can still contact me on our on our instagram page right there i hope you guys are aware of our instagram handle right there please use that to contact me so that we can communicate i know there are some people who wants to or who wish to communicate live or personally so ladies and gentlemen please don't forget to subscribe and like the video so that it can reach other people if you like the quality contact the contact that i'm providing for you guys please do so don't forget to click the notification bell so that you can be uh, notified every time i upload a video or every time i go live don't forget to comment on the comments below i will i will reply in a second not in a second when i get time to reply i will reply but i won't take any longer than a week one thing i can tell you i won't take any longer i won't take longer than a week this is my prediction for today listen the price is gonna push towards this level maybe give us a what you call consolidation and push towards this diagonal resistance might be the same move movement as this one and it will be like this when it comes the closing uh the closing time the closing bell time we might see our price around this level here in this area right here maybe you can take the screenshot of that so that you can uh when it comes the closing bell time you can look at your screenshot and see my prediction not exactly here maybe around here maybe the it will be around this level here I hope it will move like this my prediction actually is the price will make a U10 around this level that's my prediction for now it's still going up and down up and down up and down up and down we'll just have to see it's just playing around this level but when you go we are on 30 minute time frame so we are not yet when we go to the bigger time frame you can see that this this is a very very uh, bearish candle it tells us that the sellers are in charge the sellers are doing what they do best they are selling they are pushing the price towards the downside to reach this diagonal resistance can you see that i mean diagonal support can you see that so that they could they could reach this if they wish but if they don't still you can see it's losing the momentum now if they don't they can still push towards the upside maybe around this area that's my prediction for today I hope you guys do understand what I'm trying to remember on five minutes time frame when we were on five minutes time frame I told you something this is what I said that it was a retest the price is about to push towards the downside so this is let's do this this uh, candlestick is for me now okay a uh, chart pattern is for me now this is oh uh, what is happening this is what i want you guys to be aware of the price is gonna play around this area for quite some time you must be aware of the bearish flag this is our pole seems like it's breaking no don't break it now oops I was saying it would break it now it seems like it's breaking but it still left to retest before it pushed towards the downside i hope this makes sense to you guys now i'm a scalper now i'm in five minutes time frame like really 
this looks more like a flag pattern there we go remember flag pattern is a continuation it's a continuation of our price it's a continuation of uh, price movement here you can see that oops yeah it's pushing in five minutes time frame this candle is left with two minutes 30 seconds i believe it will push towards the downside as we see mm -hmm. so we were checking on the news remember that U.S. CB Consumer Confidence. CB Consumer Confidence. Conference Board. Okay, that CB uh, stands for Conference Board. Consumer Confidence measures the level of consumer confidence in economic activity. It is a leading indicator as it can predict consumer spending, which plays a major role in overall economic activity higher reading point to higher consumer optimism a higher than expected reading should be taken as positive or bullish for the usd while a lower than expected reading should be taken as negative this is the lower reading than expected ne? yes so our news are negative and they are pushing the price towards the downside as you can see on five minutes time frame our price is pushing towards the downside the flag was broken and i was waiting for the retest but there's nothing okay let's look at the let's look at the dxy dxy this is five minutes time frame let's go to 15 minutes time frame reset the chat ladies and gentlemen you can see lately our dollar index has been very bullish you can see it has been very bullish dollar has been very bullish so in this type of scenario when dollar is so bullish like it is when you go to euro usd you'll find your currency your euro dropping or bearish exactly my point so ladies and gentlemen remember when you trade um the currencies just have to look at your dollar and see if it's gonna be on the bullish trend like this or if it's on the bullish trend you know that your euro usd is bearish like for example your gbp usd could also be bearish because of dollar is bullish exactly what i mean do you see do you see what i mean when your dollar usd your dollar index is bullish your gbp usd your eu euro usd turns out to be bearish so ladies and gentlemen let's go to nasdaq 100 and see where is our nasdaq 100 is still pushing towards the downside let me reset the chart so you could be able to see where we are there we go still pushing still pushing towards the downside hmm. yeah it's a bearish remember i said our price could make a u10 around this level but if it doesn't this is what we should expect if it doesn't we should expect this type of choppy 
movement like we did yesterday around this area here like we did around this area i hope that makes sense there we go today it's happening man today it's happening today it's happening bra Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Today it's happening, today it's happening, excuse me. The price is uh, doing what we are expecting to see or what we are willing to see. That's also very nice. Let's do the calculations. Why is that? Yeah, the drawing panel. Let me move my ball pen, the ruler. Let's see how many. Come on. What is it doing now? I want to see something. Give it a one something. So we are 251 pips. That's 200 peeps. <whistles> 250 peeps, man. <whistles> I only got those. Uh, let me see. How many did I get? ruler I only got 170 peeps mm, I should have held it no greedy don't be greedy you shouldn't be greedy as a trader accept what you get so that tomorrow you will know how to trade your peeps so this is what i meant the price is just playing around this area i believe when we go to five minute time frame we will see something look at that it's playing around this area actually that was more like a retest i guess in a five minutes time frame let's hope in a bigger time frame in a bigger time frame the price is still pushing towards the downside because you can see this choppy candlesticks but in a bigger time frame there is a bullish new candlestick is forming what is the time okay it was 25 minutes after 10 a.m so in america usa new york time frame South Africa Johannesburg is 25 minutes after 4 p.m. We are in Johannesburg, South Africa. Ladies and gentlemen, please do subscribe and do comments down below. We would like to hear from you guys. Please do comment down below. We would like to hear from you guys can see the price is giving us that it's losing momentum now the price is losing momentum We just have to see this is 15 minutes time frame we are four minutes away from 10 30 new york time frame new york time and south african time yes four minutes away from 4 30. i'm looking for something here i can't find 
I'm trying to find something here that I wanted us to talk about. Okay, let's go and look at other instrument. Okay, okay. I was about to say let's go to another instrument and the price is like no 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 before you go look at me I'm breaking out it's breaking out this level that that is our daily support actually it could be our institutional traders collecting the what you call collecting the liquidity there's so much liquidity lying around there now i want to use this okay let me let me move it away from here Allow me to press to click this. Okay, ball pen, move aside. So just a second, ladies and gentlemen, I will be with you in an, a minute time. 